If you like fresh strawberries but have trouble growing them, this is a method that might work well for you. The uh, construction tub that I purchased from Lowe's fits about perfect for six 10-inch pond baskets that are netted. I filled each of those with potting mix and I put four seascape everbearing strawberry plants in each one for a total of 24 strawberry plants within this tub. In terms of feeding and watering, they are fed from this reservoir, this 32 gallon trash can, which goes to the smaller controller bucket with a float valve, which keeps the nutrient fed uh, directly below the strawberry plants that uh, the soil or the potted mix does wick up. It's been very productive for me. And after picking yesterday, there are still several more strawberries that are forming today and ready for picking. Inside the controller bucket, you'll notice that the float valve is set rather low. That is because I am not using a deep water culture or a crack key um, method that uh, depends solely on water. So my nutrient level is much lower. It is only about one half inch to, oh, roughly three quarters of an inch deep within the construction tub. The reservoir comes through a grommet, hose barb, half inch pond tube runs into the bucket to the float valve and then back out into the bottom of the construction tub where it subwaters the hydroponic nutrients to the strawberries. Looking inside the 32 gallon reservoir, you'll notice that the nutrient level is rather low. For 24 strawberry plants, you would think that they would not consume that much. However, what I am finding is that uh, I have used almost 64 gallons of nutrients over the course of the summer in 5A zone gar gardening. And I expect if I continue to grow these into the fall that I will probably use uh, probably another half a uh, trash can full of nutrients as during the fall the growth does seem to slow down just a little bit. One trick that I learned this summer that is very helpful is that once I put a float valve into a controller bucket, it does tend to set the nutrient level uh, to one particular level that uh, I run with all season. If I need to vary it uh, in small increments, uh, what I found was using bucket lids, such as these two blue ones that the bucket is sitting upon, uh, does a wonderful job of being able to allow me to either uh, raise or lower the nutrient within uh, containers just a fraction of a degree. For larger systems I have been using paver stones but the bucket lids are a, um, a new innovation for me this year.